This week, more than a thousand high school seniors will get a firsthand look at what could be their future career. Here with details of Central Alabama Works Executive Director Jindy Prutzman. Jindy, thank you all so much for joining us here thank on you. Alabama Live. What do you have planned for this expo? Well, for the expo, we have a lot of students coming. We've got a thousand. Um, over a thousand we're anticipating, and we have um, over 50 hands-on exhibits, uh, business and industry from all over the river region and really across our entire region, which is 13 counties, are coming in and they're setting up these exhibits for hands-on exploration so that um, students will know what kind of careers are out there, what does it take to get into that career, um, you know, what do you do if you get in this career, all of those we want them to explore. Give us a glimpse, what are some of those careers, what, is, what will the expo look like? The expo is geared around our high, what we call high demand, high wage. And so in our general, re, our region five, that includes manufacturing, healthcare, information systems, construction, um, transportation distribution, um, I know you are. Missing. All. And then we also have hosp hospitality, even though it you know, may not always fall in that line, we know that there are always needs within the hospitality industry. I like to call you all the middleman because you kind of are. You're right there, right in between the industry, the nonprofits, yes. the seniors. You mentioned what industry folks will be there. What are the kids saying in your ear? What do they want to learn more about? Well, you know, kids are hard, hard to, I know, hard to I know. understand. <laughs> um, but the great thing is that, you know, we do want them to come just to explore. This is all about exploring. We know that there are more choices now than ever for students, but we also know that there are probably around 40% that don't go on to do anything. That means they don't go on to work, they don't go on to school, we don't know where they are, staying at home somewhere. So this is really an attempt to try to get those students, um, you know, kind of catch their attention, let them know what's out there, how it leads into a worthwhile job, a career, not just a job, but a career. We want them to know all those opportunities. I think everyone in their life can remember a point when they said, I think I want to do this. I think I want to do that. Some of these kids, they're just going to grab a few plant pamphlets, learn a little bit about everything. Exactly. For those kids that really feel or see that spark and say, I want to be like Jindy. This is what I want to do. What is the follow-up like? The follow-up, well, the first kind of point will be the actual business and industry themselves because we've instructed them, you know, that the students are coming to you, they want to know what do you do, what does it take to get there? So they may need to say, you know, well, this is the education you need or this is the experience we're looking for or, hey, we want you to come on to work as long as you're willing to stay all day, um, willing to work hard, stay off your phone. You know, these are the, mm -hmm. the soft skills that we hear about all the time from business and industry. So. Sometimes hearing it from business and industry goes a lot further than from parents or from teachers, yes. either one. Sometimes so. they think mom and dad's just being hard on them and then they, oh, definitely. they hear it in the real definitely. world. And a lot of our students, you know, there's, there's so much interest in entrepreneurism, you know, starting business, that kind of thing. But there's certain skills that you have to have before you Across launch the into board. that. So we want them to see, you know, any kind of experience is good experience. Whether it's just, you know, if you think, well, I want to come over here and just maybe learn how this business operates a little bit. Well, that's great, you know, but use that as a jumping point for your next opportunity. Almost a thousand students, where are they coming from? They are coming from um, all over our region. We serve Region 5. We are the Regional Workforce Council for Region 5. We have 13 counties which reach from um, Dallas and Perry County in the west all the way over to Russell and Lee County in the east. And we have 10 uh, of those counties, of the 13 counties represented from uh, schools all around our region. So I mentioned, you know, you said the company will follow up potentially with a child, mm -hmm. but if I'm a mom, I'm grandma, and my kid comes home and they're talking about this industry or this thing that they mm -hmm. just really love, how can I support them as well? Well, and one thing that I didn't mention, and it's a critical partner of ours, our community colleges. They will also be on, you know, there with kind of filling in those dots. You know, let's say you go to uh, Alabama Power or to utilities company and you say, oh, I'd really love to do that. And they say, you need to take this course. Well, sitting right near there will be the training that's needed for that. So they'll be able to, I hope, connect the dots of what what would it take for me to get in that job and what does that look like? You know, does it look like just going out and applying and how do I do that? Or does it look like getting some experience or a certification or a two-year or, you know, how does that, the, really we're all about the pathway 
What kind of pathway can we put them on? Um, our byline that we use a lot is partners, pathways, and pipelines. We want to work with all those partners, and I love that you said we're the connector, because we are. We connect those partners to form a pathway that will then be the pipeline of workforce that our business needs. For the kids, can be, it can be overwhelming. For the parents, it can be overwhelming. So this is going to be that one-stop shop to connect the dots. I hope so. Literally. And, and my plea will be for parents to ask their students, you know, hey, did you go to that event today? What did you What did see? you learn? What did you what did like? You, mm -hmm. you know, where do you think you might, you know, and this is really geared for not so much those who say, I'm going, you know, I've already got my acceptance to Alabama, Auburn, you know, I'm on my way, but those ones who are still kind of, I don't, I don't really know, know what, what I'm I want to do. Yet. So this is a chance to shop it, you know, go, go shopping for your career and date, time, and location of this event for this, anyone else who wants to get yes, involved. This Friday, February 23rd, um, we'll be there from 8 to 3, around that, uh, around that time span, and we will be at the Montgomery Multiplex. So again, if your kid, a kid in your life is going, make sure you follow up with them and ask some questions and help get them on the career path and get them where they need to be going. Thank you so much for joining us Thank here in Alabama Live. We appreciate it.